There's a lot of things you can do, uh, and that's probably what's best about the bedding and the bathroom is these sets are super affordable. It comes with the shams and the, pi the throw pillows, the decorative pillows, the comforter. Um, you can give a facelift to a bedroom just by changing the bedding. I mean, it changes completely changes the bedroom. And same thing for your bathroom. If you ever put a new shower curtain, it like you're all of a sudden like, whoa! Uh, it can feel like the bathroom's more open. It can feel uh, bigger. I mean, and and those are like super simple things. I love decorative pillows. So if you have like a beige couch in the living room, a lot of people have a solid neutral color of a couch. Um, throw pops of color with your throw pillows. And during the holidays, I would do festive colors if, it, if you can coordinate it uh, together. And then of course, the easy you know things to think of are fresh flowers, candles, um, I love incense. I mean, I just love, I love uh, really making a house just so inviting and you're like, oh, that smells good, that feels good. Those are great tips, thank you. Mm -hmm. See, from super great. easy tips too, yeah. so easy to do. Um, so I'm remodeling my little Spanish house, and I, my my instinct is to go over the top, uh -huh. and my husband keeps pulling me back in. Uh -huh. So what, what do you suggest to make it like tasteful but still yeah. you know, still Spanish? Spanish. That's a very sp specific. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's a very specific uh, uh, design. But I love Spanish houses. Um, I always think, you know, decorating is a compromise. My husband would be interior designer if he could. Like, he oh, nice. is very involved in, in the home. Um, and so, you know, we kind of compromise. That's a big, actually, challenge with bedding, mm -hmm. is so many times men think the bedding looks, you know, too feminine, and then right. you don't want black bedding. Like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want yeah. that bedding. It's too masculine. And so that's what I think. I, we found a white space with bedding where mm -hmm. we found, like, I went to stores, and so much bedding has, like, that old traditional, yeah. like, your grandma would have in her right. house, and you're like, ugh, I don't <laughs> want that in my house. And then it was, like, the other side where it's, like, colors and poppy, and it's neon, and it felt like, <laughs> okay, that's way too young for my bedroom. So we yeah. found, like, this space, um, we wanted to create something elegant and sophisticated for a bedroom, not overly feminine, mm -hmm. um, but yet contemporary and modern. So you feel like, okay, this is not my grandma's bedding, but mm -hmm. uh, this is something I can have in my house. So definitely look for that. I think also pattern is big with Spanish style. Mm -hmm. So you have to really think about, you know, not overly doing your patterns. I think yeah. Spanish can become um, ornate. You know, right. and it becomes like gimmick, and it's like, oh, you're in a Spanish house, like you know. Um, I, yeah. I find that a lot with like Mexican influenced houses where you have like it's like overly done. So I think anytime you have any type of house, I'm moving into a farmhouse, which is oh, beautiful. Uh, I mean, a farmhouse style. It's here in LA. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it doesn't have animals, <laughs> uh, but it's farmhouse style, and so you can really go overboard with like the rustic look and mm -hmm. like the wood, and it's like, oh, you have to. It should be touches of Spanish, mm -hmm. not don't lean into that uh, fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you actually mentioned um, the whole travel thing, which is like what my question was going to be, like how you inspired by travel. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, like w your previous collections, were they also inspired by travel or is mm -hmm. it something more like what you were looking for mm -hmm. and you wanted it, like you kind of designed it for yourself? No, I'm always inspired by travel. I'm always, I'm inspired by cultures. I love, you know, for my honeymoon, we went to Cambodia and Thailand and Hong Kong, and I just was like, oh my God, there were so many beautiful uh, colors and and patterns, and um, I just, I'm always looking for inspiration. But for anything, like I, I look at it for clothing, I'll look at it for uh, my home line, I'll look at it for, um, inspiration and programs I want to develop in my foundation like it's it's I'm constantly a sponge uh, mm -hmm. just absorbing uh, my travels because I think what people don't realize is we live in a global community you know we don't live in LA you know, we're not from Montana like we live in a global community we're all tied together so to have a an appreciation for other cultures and other other things that are considered beautiful in other places of the world or to know what's considered beautiful um, is really kind of a luxury yeah, and it travels a luxury too. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. There's always gifts I give. It's like a trip. I always give like a trip somewhere because mm -hmm. I know my my sister won't go unless I tell her like you should go to Australia. And she's like, what? 
You know? <laughs> and like take the kids to Paris so they don't study the Eiffel Tower, they see the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Right? They don't study the Colosseum, they go to Rome. It makes such a difference. The, and they go, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. How do you, um, hi. Hi. <laughs> Are we Facebooking? Yes. Anybody? Is anybody Facebook like me? <laughs> yeah, have you? I think it's a little early in the day, but <laughs> it was a word for sleep. Um, how do you incorporate with the holidays coming up? Your um, your cult like, like your culture, your Mexican culture mm -hmm. and traditions and things like that. And will we see any of that in like future collections? Mm -hmm. the, about my Mexican culture? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I feel like some of the earlier uh, uh, patterns. I love Solano. Um, everything is inspired by my culture. I am Latina, so yeah. so everything. I feel like uh, you know the colors I choose, um, the the mood boards uh, when we start right from design. I'm always like thinking uh, not only color palette and mood boards but uh, affordability like mm -hmm. I remember this is why I started sewing was because I couldn't afford curtains like I'm like how much are curtains yeah um and uh that's why I, I always wanted to do a bed set like I don't want to have to buy a $20 pillow a $20 pillow a $20 pillow a 20 and then and then the bedspread and yeah. then your shams and then your sabanas and you're yeah. like okay I can't <laughs> I can't buy all of that stuff and so when it's in one one package and it's kind of uh, designed for you and it's done I feel like that's something you know Latinos appreciate um, I think everybody appreciates that yeah but for sure I mean it's always like I can't wait to go into kitchen because like other than my bedding at home I'm like a huge yes. cook I love to cook and so and I love tableware and I love flatware and I love different stem stemware and I, I mean I collect also, you know, um, serving dishes from all over the world, so I love those patterns. And I'm like, look at this pattern, like the Talavera from Mexico. I think I have every single piece of Talavera ever made in Mexico. <laughs> I'm like always collecting it, and uh, I just, I, I, that's another like whole well of inspiration for me is cooking. And so, and then I'm very practical, so I'm like, will these pans last? Like I would spend more on a, on a pan. Because I used to buy cheap pans, and then I would have to buy it again, and buy it again, and buy it again. And I'm like, by the time I bought four of these pans where the handle broke, I could have bought one really nice one. And your pans should last a long time. And so I have so many tips in kitchen that I can't, I like, really can't wait to get into the kitchen. And besides your uh, hi, hi. Besides your uh, traveling inspiration, do you feel that your personal style? influence the way that you design these uh, yeah. pieces, these collections? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. I mean, my personal style, like for home, is I have a lot of guests, so I always like things to look beautiful, and so that that in, um, inspires me a lot to make, like what would a guest, guest like? Um, how would they feel if they were in this room? Uh, and I feel like my style is exactly what I described. It's contemporary and modern, but yet classic. Like I still like classic looks and I still like classic shapes whether it's uh, clothing or exactly. yeah like on my clothing line I, I I love a blazer like there's no twist about it like a blazer's a blazer <laughs> but we can make it still modern and trendy by adding a cape or with the color or with the fabric um, so it's, I think it's a balance of, of making sure you um, and knowing knowing you know who, what your market is like who am I selling to I'm selling to women uh, working women, um, home uh, people who, who whose home are a retreat and who want to come home into, you know, they work. People work really hard for what they have, and a home is, you know, the place that you have to escape it all. And so, how how can I make them feel like this is their retreat, this is their sanctuary? And so that really drives me. I think, you know, more than what my style is, I want to know what people want, and so that's how I try to answer it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.